Have you ever wanted to increase your FPS, decrease your input delay and ping in a few minutes? This is the EXM Free Tweaking Utility, a tool which will help your PC achieve better performance and lower latency in any game. But before we start the video, I want to tell you guys about our EXM Premium and Standard Tweaking Utilities. These are the most advanced and effective optimization tools that we have to offer. They will completely optimize your PC with an impress of a few buttons. So if you notice a difference after using our Free Tweaking Utility, our Premium and Standard Tweaking Utilities will help you so much more. We have over 2,000 positive reviews from our customers on our Discord server and website. So make sure to check out exmtweaks.com to completely optimize your PC and unlock your full potential. So the first thing that we're going to be doing is downloading the utility. So simply head over to the description of any of my videos. In there, you can find a link to our Discord server. And in our Discord server, you will be able to download the utility. I'll show you how to do it. Simply head over to the free tweaking utility category, which should be under free tweaks. So right here and in here, simply press download. And this will take you to a Google Drive link. So just press visit website in here just download the zip file and while it's downloading i want to tell you guys something get this video to 2000 likes and get me to 25,500 subs and i'll release a new version of the utility with new tweaks so yeah it should pop up in the top right corner right here so just press on it it will open as a folder so you can either extract it manually but uh, what i prefer to do is just minimize all of the windows and drag it onto your desktop so simply right click on it and run it as administrator and boom, it's opened. So in here, simply press any key to continue. And now it's time to make a restore point. So I'm just gonna press one and enter, and it will take about 30 seconds to make a little restore point. And this will basically allow you to revert all of the tweaks back to default. Press okay. Now we'll download the things like power plan and etc. So yep, and boom, we're finally in the menu. As you can see, here are 16 different options, and I'm gonna walk you through how to use each and every one of these. So first we have general optimizations, which is a really simple one. You just press one, followed by enter, and then in here, press uh, one and enter again, and this will do all of the general optimizations. As you can see, that's it. I mean, the, the rest of the tweaks are gonna work in a similar way, but some of these are a lot more complicated, so I'll explain to you how to pick the correct option, etc. After that, we have mouse and keyboard, which first we just have some general mouse and keyboard optimizations. So this will work in a similar way as the last one. And after that, set the mouse and keyboard data queue size. As you can see, you have three options at the top, which is 14, 17, and 20. And the way you pick the correct option is you basically open task manager and uh, in here, just go to the performance tab. And as you can see, I have a 13 gen Intel Core i7. So basically comment your CPU under this video and I'll tell you which one of these options you should use. Personally, my CPU is a high end one, so I'm just gonna press one and enter. And that's it for mouse and keyboard. All right, so after that, we have Windows tweaks, so just press three and enter. And in here, as you can see, there's 20 different options, but I'm personally just gonna press apply all. If you wanna go through these one by one, then go ahead. If you accidentally disable something which you use, like Bluetooth, you can revert it into reverts category. So yeah, keep that in mind. But I'm just gonna press A to apply all. In here, just press Y to confirm it. And firstly, we have uh, enabling or disabling game mode. So if you're on Windows 11, enable game mode. And if you're on Windows 10, disable it. I'm on Windows 11, so I'm going to enable game mode. So one enter, boom. And after you press OK, we'll just apply the rest of the Windows tweaks, except a few things which I'll show you how to do. So yeah, now we have Windows Update Blocker and this app basically allows you to disable Windows updates. And the reason why you want to, want to do that is because they can randomly start up in the background while you're playing. They completely kill your performance if that happens. If you wanna install an update, of course, then you can go into the app and enable them but I'm gonna personally disable them. Also a little side note, Microsoft Store doesn't work if you disable the update. So if you wanna use it, just enable them again, but yeah. Now it will open this little menu and in here, just copy my settings. That's all you have to do. Yeah, just press okay. All right, so that's everything for Windows tweaks. Next we have PC clean, which will just clean a bunch of temporary files. So first we have cleaning temporary device data. And yeah, I don't have much of this since I've ran this today but some of you guys may have hundreds, if not thousands of devices there. But after that, we have uh, Windows Clean Manager, which is this little app. Just select your C drive here, which I think that should be selected by default, press okay. And make sure in here, everything is checked, press okay and delete files. I'll skip to when this is finished. All right, so that's everything for PC Clean. Now it's time for memory optimization. So just press five. In here, just select your RAM amount. If you don't know how much RAM you have, just press T, it will open Task Manager. Go to performance and memory. As you can see, I have 32 gigabytes of RAM, so I'm just gonna select six and boom, it will apply the best settings depending on how much RAM you have. That's everything for memory. 
Next, we have this little app, which is startup services. Press OK. In here, simply go to log on. Uncheck everything except your antivirus, which this is my antivirus. Keep these NA files checked. And yeah, basically that's it. Like you don't want Epic Games Launcher starting up when you turn on your PC, when you're doing other stuff. It just runs in the background, takes up performance. So yeah, I'm just going to exit out of this. All right, so next up, we have GPU tweaks, so just press seven. In here, you basically select whichever type of GPU you have. I personally have an NVIDIA GPU, so I'm just gonna press one and enter. On this little pop-up, press okay. All of the other optimizations, by the way, you should just be one button and we'll do all of the tweaks, but in here, just press okay on that, and that's all. Yeah. Next, we have CPU tweaks, which uh, works in a very similar way. Uh, by the way, don't do these if you're on a PC which has overheating issues because these may increase temperature slightly. As you can see, you can pick between AMD and Intel, and I personally have an Intel CPU, so I'm going to press 2. Yeah, that's CPU tweaks. After that, we have USB, which is a one-button optimization. Boom. Next, we have power. Uh, by the way, don't do these if you're on a PC which has overheating issues because these may increase temperature slightly. And in here we have our power plan, which is the first optimization, which by the way, we updated in this version. Right now, as I'm recording this video, it doesn't show up yet because I haven't added it to the servers, but trust me when this is out, it's gonna work. But either way, I'm gonna stick to my premium power plan since it's better. I'm gonna just close this. After that, we have uh, disable power throttling, timer coalescing, and other power saving features. Boom. Then we have uh, disable power telemetry, delete useless power plants, and disabling hibernation for startup, etc. And yeah, that's everything for power tweaks. After that, we have system debloat. And in here, we have a few options. So if you want to go through these one by one, free, feel free to. But same as with the Windows category, I'm just going to press apply all. And in here, I'm just going to press Y to confirm. Boom. Next, we have storage tweaks, which is pretty simple. First, we have trimming and defragmenting your drives. So uh, we have my SSD and simply just press optimize and this will trim it. Boom. And yeah, that's everything. So simply just close it. If you want to defragment your hard drive, you can do it as well. But this will take a while, like an hour or maybe even more. But I'll just close it and press any key to continue. Now we have uh, enable user write cache. Then we have disable SSD power savings. Just skip this if you don't have a SSD. And yeah, so after that, we have fixing corrupted files. So I just press 13 in here, just press one and it will take a little while. I'm talking like maybe even five minutes. I'll skip to when it's finished. All right, I just finished, oh, um, no diddy, but it's time for full screen optimization. So just press 14. And in here, uh, you can select whichever type of Windows version you have. So I personally am on Windows 11, so I'm gonna press two. And boom, that's about it. All right, so it's time for the new-ish category, uh, which is uninstall useless apps. So press 15. And in here, first, we have uninstalling Windows pre-installed apps. And this will take a little while. I made this cool little animation for it. All right, so after that's finished, uh, simply press 2. And in here, uninstall apps which you don't use. And I'll, and I'll tell you what type of apps you should uninstall in general. So for example, if you have things like Xbox in here, which I personally have, and you don't use them, then feel free to uninstall them. I also don't use, let me check, Quick Assist. This is useless. I don't use Paint, sorry. I think you guys will have more things to uninstall than me. Generally, just uninstall apps which you know you have never used or you won't use. So yeah, that's uh, basically everything for uninstalling apps. Uh, just press any key to continue and go back to menu. And last but not least is the EXM network tweaking utility. So just press 16, press any key to continue. I highly recommend making a restore point. In here, simply press T. Uh, there's a separate tutorial for this and follow all the steps in this video. And yeah, that basically sums up the network tweaking utility. After you've done all of that, simply restart your PC for the tweaks to properly apply. So that's everything for today's video. Comment below if this helped you. Make sure to check out exmtweaks.com to completely optimize your PC and unlock its full performance. I love all of you guys. Peace out.